this is CG1 and thank you so much for joining me once again. I want to talk to you about Winston Churchill on how to overcome fear. Fear is something that tends to hold a lot of people back, whether it's on their dreams, their aspirations, maybe it's a lot of missed opportunities and for many of us that we are a bit too scared to take some opportunity because we feel that we're not good enough or whatever thing we had in our mind. But for someone like Winston Churchill who for many people is seen as this charismatic sort of leader who led Great Britain and much of the Western world into victory against Nazi Germany through his sheer leadership and his speaking skills and his ability to communicate and inspire a nation and many nations in, in fact being able to gain the help of Russia and America in being able to overcome Nazi Germany and for many people he, he's a hero for many people he is one that is great but you see other than his sheer desire to want to make a difference Winston Churchill's great desire was to be a person who was courageous and this is a secret to overcoming fear see in much sense his desire to be courageous was his secret to overcoming fear and he shared this in much sense when he wrote to his younger brother Jack saying there is no ambition I cherish so keenly as to gain the reputation for personal courage. That's so incredible to actually aspire to be known as one who was courageous. See what Winston Churchill understood was that courage is not the absence of fear but it's the ability to act in spite of your fear. See even though you are nervous about certain situations that you're able to still act and not let it hold you back. That it, it may be public speaking, it may be taking a job opportunity that you feel that ah, oh, you might not be able to do this, that and that. And in much sense, it requires that skill of courage to, to move you beyond that fear. See, a lot of the times we exaggerate success, we exaggerate failure. But we don't understand that it's courage that really counts. And, and that's why Winston Churchill said, this so profoundly and he said success is not final failure is not fatal it is only the courage to continue on that counts what he understood was that you may pass a test you may have got this job or your business may be succeeding or maybe you, you you're enjoying a very peaceful time in your life but what you have to understand is that it won't last Maybe you face the crisis financially or personally your health wise or something's not gone right. What you have to understand is it's not the end of the world. What does matter is that even when you succeed, you realize that that success is not final, it's not gonna last. So you have to keep passing your test. You don't pass your sats in your six or your nine, whatever, and think that you finished. What you have to understand is that it is the success of your primary school years that helps you to achieve your higher education. It is knowing that the ability to become more courageous and overcome fear is taking small steps of courage to build you up to opportunities where it seems really enormous and the fear is through the roof but because you've succeeded in small steps of overcoming fear that you're able to have that courage to do even greater things. What Winston Churchill teaches us that there may be times when you feel held back by fear but what courage gives you is that ability to act in spite of how you feel or what you're imagining. That is what counts. Courage counts. It's what really makes the difference. And it makes a difference not just in the big stars, but also in the small stars. Reminds me of another thing that Winston Churchill said, courage is what it takes to stand up and to speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down 
and to listen. That even when you are put in a position where you feel that you can't do something, you're courageous. The consistent act of courage is what will push you over the edge. It's the difference between people that succeed and make a difference and people that fail and live in regret. This is CG1 and you have the seed of greatness.